Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Oregon State Beavers and the USC Trojans. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Trojans are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First of all, play at your style. Don't get roped into doing things that you normally don't do. You must be in control. Next, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Third, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Inside, way out on top, control of the ball. He takes the shot off the baseline. He gets it to fall. Inside, entry pass in the paint for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He shoots from the baseline. Goes. Excellent spacing. That's so important with a good offensive set. It's even more important than the talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. He'll regroup the offense. The shooting guard handles the feed. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes! And it's good from outside the arc. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to land the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Here's a double team. Number three is fired up and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Fed the low block. The center receives the pass. There's a double team waiting there and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, yes. You don't see plays like this every day. Stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The power forward handles the pass. He shows the sweet touch. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Trying to pack it inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Post player flashing. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Win receives the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Almost lost the basketball. Shots there if he wants it. Launches away. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He attempts the three. USC have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the pick. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Top of the circle, sinks it. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Now they'll bring it up. He fires from long range. Drains it. Gave it up. Here's the trap. Stolen away. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every place. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. For the bucket, they still don't score. And the fans are going wild. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem first thing. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. There's a bad pass right to the defender. off the pro hop. The defender tried to get there in time, but he was too late. At the line. It goes in. They scored 11 in a row. Second shot is no good. Dribble gives it up, tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of close position, of spreading his body and getting the ball. That's 
spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gave it up. The skip pass is picked off. Working it around the perimeter on the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires away, makes it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. He shoots from downtown. Drains the shot. Controlling the ball. Good job defensively. They'll work it around the arc. That spin move not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. The shot from the baseline. That was nice. Entry pass in the paint. Down he goes, and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. In the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gave it up. Fakes it. Thinks about the shot. For the bucket. And he missed. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Boy, terrible execution on offense. There was no doubt about that one. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Or two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he go? Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. He goes to the line, shooting two. He can't buy one. Time to pick up the defense here now. And they get the turnover. No 
goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, there are two sets of emotions on the court right now. The favorites, they're in disbelief. Nothing seems to be going their way. As for the underdogs, they're just trying to hold on to this lead, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. On the top of the circle, they're on fire deck from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. Step in. Oh, good defense. I got defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on a box. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. the dribble gives it up double team now bad angle from left of the circle off the rim and no good points off turnovers dick a stat i know coaches pay a lot of attention to hey brad it sure is you want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers ultimately you want to nullify the easy baskets routine Let's go on. Let's go back on our campus. This BMOC, big man on campus, baby. For the bucket, great play to take that to the basket. From the baseline, way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There it is, Jam City. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes in. Pull-up jumper from way out. He hits the shot. He 
uses the shot fake. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow-through. I'll tell you, it's going to be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away with that rebound position. You better make it count. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Moving it around the perimeter. Up oh, fake. Running right into the screen again. What did I say? He took the contact and threw it down with authority. He been in business on that dumb Brad. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He gets it to go. Away to pass. Get your cameras ready. Off the rim and no good. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. From the top of the circle. Gets it to fall. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He intercepts it. Pump fakes. Goes up for two. He puts up the three ball, makes the shot. From the top of the key, he doesn't get the hoop. Excellent space, and that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented ones up there. Yeah, that helps. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nessler. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Opportunity for two for one. On the dribble, gives it up. The center takes the pass in the paint. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people in the foul trouble. On both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. That's basic. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He fires it up. He hits it. Shot clock is dead. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket, perfectly executed. 
At halftime, the Beavers lead by nine. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. USC couldn't retrieve the rock if their life depended on it right now, Dick. Brad, what they've done is allowing the opposition to get second shot opportunities, and that usually leads to a disaster. This is how upsets happen. The underdog starts to play well, the crowd begins to cheer them on, and the next thing you know, the team that's not supposed to win gets the W. You know, Bradley, that's exactly how it happens. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous? Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under and off the mark. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. Set that screen away. He buries it. Tries to get the D to bite. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Barry was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Right in the circle. Buried it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Tough offensive, uh, defensive rebound. Now they've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Gave it up. Steals a pass. For two, he's money with the shot. You would say right here, Mr. Vitell, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nessler. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Dribble gives it up, and he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile for the post move and a number of other activities. They work the better, gave it up, takes the pass in the paint, goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trojans are trailing by 10. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession. Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. And he's backing down. He's just crying. He has one shot. Misses it. Grabs the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steal. Go up the other way. Get a layup. You really need to put the ball around these guys. Unloads. Gets it to go. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Looking for a good shot. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible.
lets it fly. Way off target. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Tries for two. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. With a little baby hook. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Stolen away. Here they go into transition. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Baroon. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard damage. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. The man is off the charts, Brad. Fakes a jumper. Jump hook from the low post. They still don't score. Ober plays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, oh, that's what his coach likes to see. His boy's going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. He goes to the free throw line. Misses. Snatches it away. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Picks off the pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Tickles a twine. Defenders doing a great job of Brian Wall pressure. From three-point range. That's good. Look at this last play right here. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They're working around the perimeter on the dribble. Gives it up. Intercepted. Fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. You can't be that aggressive. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Nick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Second shot, no good. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They got to start knocking them down before it's too late, baby. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Picks off the lazy pass. 
for two. Perfectly executed. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charm. And he's going to pick up the foul and all. Oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Entry pass in the paint. <laughs> A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. He shoots from right of the circle. Oregon State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Goes up for two. Easy one. Working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He dials long distance. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And the slam. This is worth the second look. USC's had great success on the gridiron, but are usually kind of in the middle of the Pac-10 standings for hoops. They are doing what they can to turn things around. They've hired an ex-NBA coach and feel as though they are on their way. Picks off the pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Knocks it down. Side. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pregame hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. He pulls the trigger. Scorches the net. On the dribble, gives it up. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. He tries to knock down the three. Nice shot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post.
excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, it helps. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He's going to take some pride on the defensive end. They push it up on the break. Tries for two. Drains the shot. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Gave it up. Tight D here. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. They work it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Throws it up, leans in, and he scores despite the hack. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gets the rejection. Pushing that basketball. Stolen away. Whoa, Screener caught one of the chops off the pick. Picks off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Obvious foul. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on the defensive end. They're all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Steals the pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Turnaround jumper. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting run. away. He drains it. Picked out of the air. He goes for three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside champers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Rims out. He gets the bucket to fall. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Looking for a good shot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Hey, 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 hey. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Way out on top, controlling the ball. High post flashes for the ball handler. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Three. Married it. He looks for three. Drains it. Spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Dick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. The Beavers just seem to be frustrated out there, Dick. Hey, it doesn't take much to bring the emotional level down, Brad. All it takes is a couple of turnovers, missed shots, and poor decisions, and the coach even goes wacky. the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Up. Easy one. Time out. The second slowly ticking away here, Dick. Hey, they've got a tremendous lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're working around the perimeter on the dribble. Gives it up. They work the perimeter. The small forward gets the ball. Out play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The small forward with the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Wow, and that stops the clock again. And, Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. And yet another foul. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes the front end of the one and one. Makes his second shot. A lot of time to go now, Dick, on a seven-point lead. That's right, Brad. A lot of time. They don't need to start forcing shots. For the deuce. 
Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Shot clock is dead. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Got it. Gets the second shot. Timeout's called. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. Zoom. The lead is now seven points. This game is still up for grabs, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Looks for a three-pointer. That was nice. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this point of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Makes the second shot. They really need a score here to have a chance. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Rod. They have the foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Second shot is good. This is where you really need a bucket to have a chance. I'm out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble and having a stretch of any game is final. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Second shot. Timeout on the floor. It's a close one. The trigger fingers are getting itchy, baby. This one's too close to call. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Dick, that's just not what you want at this stage in the game. Hey, somebody's palms are getting sweaty, baby. The pressure was turned up, and out came the ball. There's a double team waiting there. when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Second shot is no good. This team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line that I did. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it.
And let's go back out onto the floor. With the bomb. Rims out. This thing's going back to the drawing board, Dick. This wasn't supposed to happen. We didn't expect that they were going to lose this ball game, and I'm sure their fans and their coaching staff didn't expect it either. I don't want to close it out. They couldn't make the big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away from which made them such an outstanding team. Being unselfish, sharing the ball. USC fought the good fight, but they still come up short. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. Brad Nessler saying so long.